Astro 103 dispatch. You advise no dispatch. Copy, Foxtrot 103 in Who's service, station down? one, all apparatuses. And hello and welcome to the next video of Midwest RP. This is going to be video number five. Today we're going to be running every apparatus oh, here okay. at station one. Um, I'm thinking we mainly run an engine apparatus, but I don't know. Four, engine four. We're probably going to be run some medical calls or whatnot. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the first call. Station 1, Engine 1, Ladder 1, respond to 878 Orchardville Avenue. Industrial fire alarm. Okay, we're going to be arriving on scene now. Okay, so right now we've got a engine on scene and a ladder just because it's an alarm. Um, but we're going to get on some turnout here. And then there we go. We're going to do a 360 of this place if we look on our map. Eight seven hey, eight. What's going on, guys? Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? What's going on? You got something going on here? Or? Uh, yep, we've got reports of a fire alarm around here. We're gonna head okay. in, um, take a look. I I don't know. I I was messing with the uh, not this building, but the building next door. Uh, we're we're getting a lot of false uh triggers uh for entering. So I was like messing around with the fire, with the uh, with the alarm system itself. Um, I didn't hear anything set off or anything. I I can show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. If... Okay, yeah, for sure. Okay. Foxtrot 103 to all units on the scene of 878. Be advised, I'm walking with a man. He's gonna be saying that he tripped the fire alarm. Yeah, so if, yeah, if we come back over here, it's, uh, along this exterior wall here. Okay. Where's the back? I don't, I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, intruder and fire alarm combination. Um, I was just trying to, I was messing with some of the wiring for the, uh, intruder alarm, but, I don't know, like I said, we've been getting a lot of false calls from this box, so maybe it could be faulty with that too, I'm not sure. Um, okay. But I haven't, I haven't heard like any, I haven't seen any smoke or anything. Haven't heard any fire alarms. So. Okay. Can you show me the panel that you were using? Around back here. Okay. Fox shot 103. Can I get a one LEO unit en route to my location? It's going to be 878. Right here. Okay, let's take a look. David 248 is going to be 1042107. Yeah, so I went, I just disarmed the panel for now while I was working on it, but. Okay. User disconnected from your channel. <sighs> okay, so you were playing around with this panel back here, and you said the yeah, intruder alarm was going off at first, and now it may be yeah, the so fire alarm. We got for I mean this is probably like the seventh time in four days the alarm went off here. Uh, there's not been any signs of force entry or anything like that. Um, so, you know, we decided to come out here and take a look at it, so that's what I was Okay, doing. I assume you have colleagues inside and stuff like that protecting this huge building? 
Yeah, no, at the moment it's, it's uh, Station one, do you still need the assistance? Obviously is what they're being told. Hey, firm, if you can just have one times down here. Sorry about that. Chin four. Yeah, Who's the post again? Uh, one second. It's going to be 878. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, so you were playing around with this, right? Your guy's inside, don't see any fire, no nothing, no smoke. Um, and you said, are you sure that there was no intruder, though? No forcible entry signs, none of that? Yeah, no, Elio's down here? No, there's been no signs of entry at all. Um, so really all the doors are locked, everything like that. Uh, the only thing, there is a window on the, uh, on the north side that's open. Like, the exterior pane is open, but the interior pane is closed. So. Okay, got it. Um, so, in saying that, I'm just gonna do a, take a couple looks at this with my firefighter over here. Yeah, no problem. I went ahead. I, I disabled the alarm box probably five minutes ago. Um, so you, know, you can look at that, do whatever you need to. Okay. Um, just be over here if you need me. Yep, no problem. We're going to take a look at this. Uh, who I got with me? Uh, Drake. Hey, Drake. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take a quick look at this box here, make sure everything's um, in shape. We'll see if there's any trips going off. Maybe there's a wire cut that keeps activating. Um, we'll see what happens. If you want to start looking at the intruder alarm section, have you ever dealt with alarm panels? Uh, yes. Okay, so, yeah, you know how it works. Uh, take a look at the intruder alarm side. I'm going to take a look at the fire alarm side, see what's happening here. Okay. Okay, so now we're just going to make sure that the fire alarms are all good and everything. Um, in this situation, we obviously canceled the response of our other firefighters once we noticed that there was no smoke showing, because it wasn't really needed. Um, and they're available for some other calls. But yeah, so it seems like this is going to be a false alarm. We're just going to make sure here that the panels are looking all good. Fire Marshal 1, arrival. Fox Show 103, Fire Marshal 1. Go. Can I have you en route to between Postal 879 and 878 on foot? We're going to be kind of in the middle um, alleyway. Copy. I'll, uh, uh, I'll be on foot now. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it looks like we got some corrosion here. We're going to take a look at User this. <sighs> Type of rust and any sign of rust. So now we want to make sure that there's rust on the metal. Go ahead. User left your channel. Can you advise, uh, are you near the group A6 vehicle? A negative. If you want to walk past that into the median um, alleyway that goes from Innocence down to El Rancho, we're going to be near there. And then just take a left. Copy. Okay, so we're looking at if there's any type of rust that we can see on the corrosion, because um, if there's rust, that means it did it over time. Okay, so it looks like there is some rust, so that's good. Doesn't look like an agent was used, so no one wanted us to really be here, it seems. It wasn't tampered with. Okay, sir, um, are you just security for this building? Yeah, I mean, I'm just group six, so I mean... We got okay, are you the anymore. supervisor of all the guys? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, um, can I get who owns this hey, building? Five, um, we're gonna, we've got a fire marshal down here, and we're gonna, uh, 
give a checkup on the whole building as this is kind of damaged and we're going to need to get that fixed. Uh, yeah, I can head over to my car and see if I can pull up registry. I mean, it's a large corporation, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, if you can just get us to the corporation, we'll worry about contacting the right people. User yeah. joined your channel. You follow me back to my car. Though. Okay, um, Drake, if you want to stay here with the panel, the fire, and explain to the fire marshal how to get here, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, fire marshal, right around the corner, other side of the building. Okay. Oh, Sorry, again, that's our fire marshal. Um, he is armed as well. You don't need to worry about him though. I don't normally get plan on getting robbed by the fire department, so. Yeah, you know that doesn't happen. Okay, so now that that's all good. We're going to see what he's got here, then we're going to go back to our vehicle, call it in, call it into CAD, and head back in route station after our fire marshal does his thing. We'll stay on scene for that as well. <sighs> Anyways, while we're waiting, um, this... I am today I'm not going to be ret running battalion um, or like supervisor vehicle today I'm kind of running uh, the actual vehicles to be the person participating in the call so like rescue stuff like that um, all that good stuff and here's our officer how's it going hey how's it going hi I just uh, called for an officer down here for protection you never know big space um, unknown area yeah yeah, I understand. Um, by the way, uh, one of the locals uh, might have rear-ended your uh, car, but uh, I told him to get on out of here, So, or one of the, uh, the, the engines back here, so you might double-check for damages. User left your channel. Uh, okay, yeah. cool. Is it, which car is it? From? Uh, it was the, uh, not the ladder truck, but the other truck. The oh, engine? They were, they were, it, yeah, the engine, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. so just, you might double-check it. Uh, okay. sir? I'll, uh, we'll take a watch look around. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Uh, sir. Yeah, sorry, I was right. I forgot the same practice down here, so I don't forget it. All right. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we've got our guys down there. User joined your channel. Union four four. Can I get you out to Panorama Drive near the abandoned motel for a possible uh, suspicious person? It's going to be a rainbow colored truck. 911 caller states the uh, the driver of the vehicle offered uh, paraphernalia to the 911 caller. Ten four on. User left your channel. Union 44-1023. Okay, so again, we're waiting for this guy to get the company. We'll go check in on the fire marshals. I can tell the engine to clear off. Fox draw 103 to the engine one on scene. Engine one. Your channel. engine one, you guys can return to station as long as fire marshals on scene and at the panel. Copy, we'll be in row back to station. Okay. Fire marshal one, Fox draw 103. Go ahead, Fire Marshal 1. Be advised, the panel is going to be reset and uh, the alarm is stopped. You can uh, route all units back and uh, stand by for fire cones. Copy. You can route back to station as well. Oh. Fox Trout 103, Fire Marshal 1. Station 1, Medic 1, Station 1, Medic 1, Station 1, Engine 1, 
station manager. We're going to get you guys down to 1011 Grove Street for a hit pedestrian. Again, 1011 Grove Street. Right. Here's the, uh, I, I wrote it down here on the notepad if you just want to take this. Okay, sounds good. Hey, Fire Marshal, can you make your way over here? Okay. Um, I'll just tear off the piece of paper at the top of this, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Show it to one route. Okay, there's your notebook for you. Alright. Thank you, sir, and you can go about your day. I believe um, the panel has either been fixed or we will contact the company about it. Thank you. Alright, perfect. You have a good one. You too. Uh, officer, you can go back. Available. Okay. Awesome. Well, take care. You as well. Foxtrot 103, Fire Marshal 1. Go. Can I have you back en route to my location? I've got some information to hand you. Could you copy it at the station? I'll be rerouting to station 1 for uh, active pneumatic. Copy. Do we, not, do we not have a medic available already? Negative, we don't. Copy. Okay, so we've got him back in route station. Okay, so let's get this. Three Union 44. For that last 911 with the drug paraphernalia. Is there an actual location of the dry of the 911 caller? We're here. Okay, so um, we're gonna take this information back to like Station One, and I will see you guys on the next call. And welcome back. So we had one call today. It was a false alarm, um, but that one call is gonna be all that we have for today. But thank you guys for watching. Click that subscribe button, comment, and sub or comment and like the video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this shorter version of a video. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.